You know what I'm saying? When you're satisfied with what you got, then God say, okay, now I can bless them. And they'll bless you even more. You see, but sometimes the, the Jones has got a big car, I got to get it. They bought a bigger house, I got to buy a bigger house. Competing with each other. That's not a God. Amen. Be happy with what you got. And be happy for that person that they got. Because say, you know what? If, if, if he did it, I, you know, down the road, I know I'll do it. Amen. Amen. But you're satisfied and you have peace and joy with what you have. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Amen. But it was what? By making peace through what? His blood that was shed on the cross. Amen. Now, everybody got their pencils out? What I do here. You ever see those shows? Ten things not to do. Or he comes in. I forgot that that, 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 that that show. They always talk about you know ten things or or something to, that you would write to encourage you or not or what not to do. We got eight things that we want to do. Amen. I would like to put something up and then everybody writes it because I, I just say you know I don't want you just to hear what I want you to know the word and write it down. Let's go to. Number one, eight things to stay what? In peace. You got it? Amen. No. My daughter did a great job. I, I mean, that man, that, that, I didn't even see it. That's good, man. I like how it does. Now, we know what we do here together, right? I don't got to say it. I'm going to say one, two, three, what? No. No. Oh, come on. Hey. Okay, you can have a seat. Ready? Go together. <laughs> one, two, three. No. Amen. Know that you can have peace, what? In the midst of your difficulty, right? Amen. You all got it down? Or you need time? Know that you have peace in the time of difficulty. Because always remember that you're not alone. And we all going to have difficulties. Things ain't going to work out the way you expect. Like this morning, everything was working fine all of a sudden. The, 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 the cable stopped messing with me. Or the keyboard. Amen. But you know what? I don't let it dwell on that. I say, you know what? I'm going to keep doing the dwell of the Lord. Amen. You keep going. Ready? Got it? Number two. Amen. And that's how we all look sometimes. But <laughs> From the top, one, two, three. Many people are trying to get rid of our problems. Oh, so I'm enjoying their lives. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? And what does the truth do? It sets us free. Amen? Many people are trying to get rid of their, their problems and hoping that they will be like, you ever say that to yourself? This has been a bad week. I know next week going to be better. You, know, you start hoping for the, for, for the thing, your faith starts developing, but you start getting, but you start concentrating, you start getting like that, depressed. The poor brother lost his hair. I don't mean that's their friend anybody. <laughs> but I'm saying he's so tense. So that's what happens. When you worry, what happens? You get all messed up. You start getting headaches. I do. I start thinking too much. I start, man, the first of the month, especially, I'm like, oh Lord. Then I got to pray. I said, Lord, give me strength. Because if not, I will get migraine. And my family knows that I was popping the. Uh, Etc. Uh, uh, migraine and, and anybody that suffers from migraines, man, it's like somebody put a screw or a nail in your head and it just bang and it hurts. Because you start concentrating so much, you start thinking, and then that's how you develop that. And I said, oh Lord, I thank God that the Word has given me strength to be able to to withstand that, that I don't get those headaches anymore, like I did, because now I, I can handle it a little better. You know, and how did I do that? <laughs> The word and believing in it. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is get myself sick. The problem is still gonna be there, and I'm gonna have a migraine on top of that. So now I just added fuel to the problem. Now I got two problems. Now I got the, the financial problem and I got the physical problem. Right. Oh, amen. Y'all got it? Yeah. All right, number three. But God wants us to what? Wait, let's do it again. One, two, three. But God wants us to run to peace in the Amen. What I was talking about. What do you want for your kids? You want the best. You want no problems. And I just like I told my daughter, I, I called, I said, you know, 
I know it's hard, don't focus, because maybe because it happened to someone in your family in the past. Don't dwell on it that it's going to happen to you. Maybe, yeah, it seems like it, but you've got to have faith, you've got to believe, you've got to encourage us. I can encourage you all I want, but the only one that's going to give you peace is God. You see? And you know, and everybody knows that my kids, when I, since I've been in ministry, they were small. And you know what I'm talking about? My oldest, she was sitting right there. I was sitting in front of the church and she was listening to the word because I knew that the word, one day, she's going to need it. Her relationship with God, she's going to need it. It's going to have to arise within her. We can comfort her all we, 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 we want. But at the end of the day, it's a relationship between you and God. And that's what I told her. It's between you and God. And he's the one that can give you that peace. Because there's going to be times you're going to be by yourself in the room, nobody there, and then the enemy is going to try to come in and put death into your mind, give you fear. You see, he's going to put fear in you. And that's when you got to let the Holy Spirit that's within you arise so you could overtake that fear and turn it into peace and joy, even in the midst of a difficult time. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number four, you got it? Número cuatro. Ah! Oh. Yes! Don't we get like that? <laughs> Things don't work out the way you want you. I'll be looking. I said, I gotta use Lee because I love Lee. Come on, get up, Lee. I come in the church this morning. Lee always say, hey, I love you, right? I come in the church this morning, he goes sit down. Yes, he, he don't even know I'm here. Uh -oh. Now my friend, what, what the? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What the? What did I do to him? And then you start thinking. Uh -huh. See, that's how the devil works. You start thinking. Uh -huh. Did I do something last Sunday to him? Did I step on his shoe? Did I sit in the seat? Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, you go to church, you sit in somebody's seat, they'll be like, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> they'll be, they be like, what? Like, you're, they're doing one of those things. <laughs> Walking to you and banging on you. You say you start thinking on it. So what happens? The devil got you. Because now you're thinking negative things. Now you're trying to figure out why the brother ain't hung me this morning. Why didn't he shake my hand? You know what I'm saying? And that's how, that's, see, but when you got the word, see, you know. You see what I'm saying? Because God said, where the signs and wonders come? It's through the word of God. You see things for what they really are. Amen. <laughs> I'm not preaching just so to you, I'll tell you, it happens to me every day. So I, I take that as an example and say, you know what, Lord, you're awesome. Because whenever I got a problem, whenever I'm confused about something, all I got to do is open this. All I got to do is open this. If I don't know good enough, I go to the back. My Bible a little jacked up, but that's all right. I go to the back. Unity. Well, they be you and you I start going in the back. Oh, I can go to Romans 15, verse 5 and 6. You see what I'm saying? I start reading. Or oh, I can go to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2 and 3. You see? And I start reading the word. I start encouraging, feeding my spirit. You see? Oh, I ain't got money for the rent this day. The Bible says, man, I don't worry about that. Don't I even feed the birds that are in the air? I'm not going to take care of you. Come on. Amen. Where? In the Word of God. That's right. You can order crap off me. Amen. It's in His Word. And you remember that. Wait, wait a you feed the birds. Why am I worried? Let me say, go to scriptures there. Don't worry. Be happy. That's what I love that. Don't worry. Be happy. That got me a million dollars. So, because a lot of people were worried. So he said, don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> and people say, yeah. Okay, don't worry. Amen. But, okay, let's read this together. I'm sorry. If we make what? I'm going to say. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all sound like. Blah, 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 blah. Together. One, two, three. And peace on our circumstances. We will never. Amen. One thing I learned about the devil, the Bible says that we're to put on the full armor of God, right? Full armor. How do we put the full armor of God? Through his word. What is the sword that kills and destroys? 